Ladies and gentlemen, are you tired of being stuck in border traffic? Are you looking for a way to revolutionize trade between the US and Canada? Look no further, because the solution is on the horizon. The Gordie Howe International Bridge is set to connect the cities of Windsor, Canada, and Detroit, USA. And it's not just any bridge. It's named after the legendary Canadian hockey player Gordie Howe. This bridge is more than just a pretty face. Its purpose is to improve transportation, reduce delays, and make the trade between the US and Canada even more seamless. This bridge is going to be a game changer for the region, increasing capacity, improving border procedures, and providing new opportunities for trade. Imagine being able to transport your goods faster, with less hassle and more efficiency. This bridge will not only help businesses, but also assist the local economy by creating jobs in the construction and operation of the bridge. So, don't waste any more time sitting in border traffic. The Gordie Howe International Bridge is on the way, and it's going to change the game. The Gordie Howe International Bridge will be located at the border between Windsor, Canada, and Detroit, USA. The bridge will connect the two cities across the Detroit River and provide an additional crossing option for vehicles and pedestrians. This location is significant because it is one of the busiest crossing points between the US and Canada. The US and Canada have the largest trading partnership in the world, and the Detroit-Windsor crossing is one of the busiest trade corridors between the two countries. Nearly a fifth of all trade between the US and Canada passes through this crossing, with over $300 million worth of commodities transported daily between the two cities. Furthermore, traffic crossing the border at this point is expected to grow from 18,000 500 vehicles per day in 2016 to 26,500 by 2025. This means that the bridge will be able to provide an efficient and orderly flow of people and goods between the two countries, which will not only improve trade, but also transportation. In addition, the bridge will offer new crossing options for highway-to-highway -highway links and updated border processing facilities, which will make transportation between Ontario, Quebec, and Eastern Canada more effective. The Gordie Howe International Bridge will not only improve the trade between the US and Canada, but it will also provide a more efficient and reliable transportation infrastructure for the region. The Gordie Howe International Bridge is a cable-stayed bridge, which is a type of bridge that features a single tall tower or multiple towers, from which cables are attached to the roadway. This design allows for a longer main span and more efficient use of materials compared to other types of bridges. The bridge will be the longest cable-stayed bridge in North America and the fifth longest in the world with a main span of 853 meters. The bridge will be constructed using a combination of steel and concrete materials. The steel will be used for the main cables and the towers, while the concrete will be used for the roadway and the foundations of the towers. The materials will be selected based on their durability and strength to withstand the weather conditions of the area. The construction method used for the bridge will be the balance cantilever method, which involves building out the bridge from both sides of the river until the two halves meet in the middle. This method allows for the bridge to be built in stages, which reduces the potential for disruptions to navigation and other river-based activities. Additionally, the method is efficient as it allows for the construction of the bridge to be completed faster. The Gordie Howe International Bridge will be a marvel of engineering that will set new standards for bridge design and construction. The use of advanced materials and construction methods will ensure that the bridge is strong, durable, and able to withstand the forces of nature, providing a safe and efficient passage for vehicles and pedestrians for many years to come. The Gordie Howe International Bridge Project has a long history that dates back to the early 2000s. The project was first proposed in 2004 as the Detroit River International Crossing. The approvals for the bridge construction came in 2007 and 2008. The bridge was originally anticipated to be completed by 2016, but construction was delayed as a result of Canada's rejection of a 500 and $50 million allocation. In 2012, the federal government of Canada 
declared funding for the bridge's construction and provided $25 million towards the purchase of land on the Detroit side. The following year, the U.S. Department of State granted Michigan the permit required to build the bridge, and the Windsor-Detroit Bridge Authority was selected to operate the bridge. In 2015, Parsons Corporation was appointed as the general engineering consultant for engineering work and technical advice for the new bridge. By 2016, the Windsor-Detroit Bridge Authority invited proponents to submit proposals for the bridge's design, construction, financing, operation, and maintenance. In 2017, following a meeting between the newly elected U.S. President Donald Trump and Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, the two governments reiterated support for the speedy completion of the bridge. Then in 2018, it was announced that the consortium bridging North America had been named as the project's builder, and soon after a groundbreaking ceremony for the construction of the Gordie Howe Bridge was held. Currently, the bridge is scheduled for completion by the end of 2024, and once built it will be open to the public for use. The project has faced some challenges and delays along the way, but the government and the authority have managed to overcome them and move forward with the construction. The Gordie Howe International Bridge is expected to have a significant economic impact on the region. One of the main benefits of the bridge will be the creation of jobs in the construction and operation of the bridge. The project is expected to create over 2,500 employment opportunities, which will provide a boost to the local economy. The bridge will also benefit the local economy by increasing trade opportunities between the U.S. and Canada. As one of the busiest trade corridors between the two countries, the Detroit-Windsor Crossing is a vital link in the economic relationship between the two nations. The bridge will provide a more efficient and reliable transportation infrastructure, which will make it easier for businesses to transport goods between the two countries. This will increase trade and commerce between the two countries, and as a result, it will boost economic growth in the region. The bridge will also have a positive impact on the tourism industry in the region. The bridge will offer a new crossing option for tourists, making it easier for them to travel between the two countries. The bridge will also serve as a tourist attraction in itself, and it is expected to attract visitors from around the world who are interested in learning about the engineering and design of the bridge. In summary, the Gordie Howe International Bridge is expected to have a significant economic impact on the region by creating jobs, increasing trade opportunities, and boosting economic growth. The bridge is an important piece of infrastructure that will provide numerous benefits to the region, and it is expected to play a vital role in the economic development of the region for many years to come. Well, folks, we've come to the end of our journey and it's time to wrap things up. We've talked about the location, the technical specifications, the timeline, and the economic impact of the Gordie Howe International Bridge. To sum it up, this bridge is going to be a game changer for the region, connecting Windsor, Canada, and Detroit, USA. And it's not just any bridge, it's named after the legendary Canadian hockey player, Gordie Howe. It's going to be the longest cable-stayed bridge in North America built to last with advanced materials and construction methods. It's not just a pretty face. The purpose of this bridge is to improve transportation, reduce delays, and make the trade between the US and Canada even more seamless. This bridge will not only help businesses, but also assist the local economy by creating jobs in the construction and operation of the bridge. This bridge will boost economic growth in the region and it will also serve as a tourist attraction in itself. So in conclusion, the Gordie Howe International Bridge is more than just a bridge. It's a symbol of cooperation, efficiency, and progress between two nations. It's a bridge that's going to make a huge impact, not just on the region, but on the US and Canada as a whole. We can't wait for the day when we can drive or walk over this bridge and see the benefits for ourselves. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting updates.